I just thought we'd give you a little update on our one of our flagship machines of our line, our Ultimate Tubing Notcher. These machines have been around for many years and used by all different types of fabricators all around the world. It does a great job for notching and coping round tubing and many other things. Just thought we'd show you a few features here today, give you a little update. Like always, when operating any machine, have your uh, safety glasses on, shirt tucked in, no loose sleeves. There's a lot of action. If this thing will cut metal, it will cut you, so we want you to be safe. One of the first features of the machine is the V-block jaw here. It allows us to hold tubing in the standard machine up to two inch in diameter. That always keeps our tube centered in line right here. So when we put our tube in, tighten our vise up, go to make our notch, we know we're on center, our tubes are gonna line up. Here's one of the features of the machine that I really like. It cuts fast, it cuts smooth, and it's really quiet. You're hearing us talk while we're doing the video, and you can see very quickly there, just a matter of seconds, we've got a perfect 90 degree notch. That thing is ready to weld. Even if you wanted to TIG weld that without any deburring, you can see that. This is inch and a half, 095 wall tubing. Fits absolutely perfect. So we showed you the 90 degree notch, the most simple basic notch. Here's one of the real features of the machine, is the ability to notch tubing on an angle. So we have this adjustable swivel vise right here. We loosen these two nuts on the studs. We can swivel it to any angle that you want. In this case, we'll say about 25 degrees. We tighten these studs back up right here. And then you see our other feed handle on our table is made for positioning the, the tube in the proper orientation to the cutter. So same as we did with the 90, the V-block jaw, insert the tube, clamp it down. We center up on the cutter. Now here's some real magic to make a nice, ni a nice angled notch for you right here. Again, nice and quiet, nice and smooth, fast cutting. got our cut. Always stop the machine when you're removing the tube, make an adjustment. Don't try and save that few seconds of putting another tube in with the cutter running, guys. Save your hands, save yourself. Very important for the safety. So here you see again a really high quality angle notch with a really nice fit ready to go. Sometimes with these steep angles we have a little burr. You may want to deburr depending on if you're TIG welding or MIG welding. But again, you can see the notch is perfect just in a matter of seconds. So you say that's well and good to notch inch and a half tubing, but what if I need to notch a different size of tubing? Well, it's very simple to interchange the end mill, very quick and easy to do. We provide the proper Allen wrench. Again, the safety is important. I recommend you unplug the machine or at a minimum, you can see this switch has an area for a lock. I just put a bolt in there. Nobody can accidentally bump that switch while you have your hands. I recommend you use your gloves for changing the end mills. They are very sharp, as you saw them cut the metal. There's two set screws right here that you loosen up. The end mill pulls right out. You can see there's two flat slots right there that you want to interchange or get your set screws down on there. So now we're going to select an inch and three quarter end mill. Same shank, same flats. We put those in, we kind of feel the, the flats clock in, you see the end mill rotates slightly and I rock it slightly. You tighten those set screws back up, it's a nice precision fit, very high quality. Now you're ready to notch inch and three quarter tubing. Remove your safety bolt, flip it on, you're ready to go. So here we thought we'd show you the time to make that basic 90 degree notch, inch and a half, 095 wall tubing. You can see again, cuts fast and smooth. There you go, we got a 90 degree notch that's done in, in, in under 10 seconds. So here we are with a 45 degree notch, again on our inch and a half tubing, pretty common size. We thought we'd show you the time that it takes to make that 45 degree notch. Just a little bit longer than the straight notch.
right there, we've got us a nice 45 degree notch in under 22 seconds. So now we've changed to our inch and three quarter end mill, and you can see here's the result of an inch and three quarter notch. We made a little more extreme angle for you here, so you can see the versatility of the machine, see the quality of that notch, and for those that have done that type of deep notching before, you know, making that extreme notch and getting it to fit way down in there is very difficult to do. This is the ultimate notcher for that reason, it produces the ultimate notch. We're really proud to say this machine is made in the United States with as many American made components as possible and it's made by the highest quality American workers. Thank you for your business.